Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. My name is Blake Cater. And I'm Ella Troop. And will everybody please rise for a moment of silence? And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right, so weather's going to be a little bit complicated this week. We enjoyed a very nice day yesterday and the day before. But according to meteorologist Alan Holt, temperature forecasts from weather models are some 30 to 50 degrees different on Thursday in the coastal bend. Here's why and what he thinks will happen as of the time of our filming. A cold front will approach the coastal bend tomorrow afternoon. Some weather models show the cold front through the region Wednesday and keeps it south on Thursday, leading to a much cooler day of weather. Other data retreats the cold front north on Thursday, leading to a much warmer day of weather. More than likely, the cold front will remain south of here on Thursday, meaning we will be cooler, but hopefully they're wrong. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of the cold. Yeah, me too. And it's Academic cold. Decathlon will be heading up to Frisco this weekend, where it will be actually freezing. On Thursday when we go up there, the low will be 28 degrees and the high will be 32. So please keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And let's hope that they do good. And we'll report back as soon as we hear how they did at their state competition. I'll keep y'all updated. Also, on that note, congratulations to uh, Simpson High School student Ella Troop for making it to state for future problem solving. Were there any other people? Not from the high school. Okay, so congratulations to Ella Troop. Thank you. I'm thrilled. Yes. Um, also, this weekend, Sinton hosts a baseball tournament this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we hope to see you all there. Awesome. But I will not be here, unfortunately. And I know y'all will miss me very much. Okay. <laughs> each year, FFA chapters around the country celebrate National FFA Week from, pe from February 19th through the 26th. <laughs> It's time to share what FFA is and the impact that it has on its members every day. So this week we will be having dress up days. Um, today it is camo day. Um, tomorrow is going to be western day. So wear your boots, your jeans, western shirts, cowboy hats, anything that you think is western. Wear some spurs, not any... Belt buckles? Belt buckles. Yes, Ella has like a lot of belt buckles. I actually Are you going to wear one? No, I'm not going to be here. Okay. Ella has no school spirit. And Friday is going to be blue and gold day. Um, if you have, wear national blue and corn gold because those are very specific colors. What does FFA stand for? FFA stands for the National FFA Organization. Used to be um, Future Farmers of America. Correct. In 1988, FFA changed its name from Future Farmers of America to the National FFA Organization to encompass a more broad group of people. That's very interesting. I did not know that. Um, so, if you have any questions about FFA Week... See an ag kid. See an ag kid. Consult um, them in the hallways. Also, <laughs> we are having a door decorating contest. So, get with your teachers about that. Nice. And any juniors will be taking the SAT test All on... All juniors. Well, any... Same thing. All juniors will be taking the SAT test on March 2nd. Seniors, if you want to take the SAT test, please email Miss Ivy to sign up. Also, prom is going to be Saturday, March 26th. I have some new info today. Um, the theme is no longer Casino Nights. It's now going to be Masquerade. Uh, it will be at the Civic Center Saturday, March 26th. We'll let you know when we start selling tickets. Don't forget about our weekly club meetings. Just a reminder that COVID-19 is still around, so let's make sure that we're being extra careful. Oh, also, on the topic of National Ag or FFA Week, we'll share FFA facts. Oh, I guess I like, kind of went too far into this. I didn't see this yet. The organization's official colors are National Blue and Corn Gold, and they were adopted in 1929. The blue pays tribute to our nation's flag, while the gold gives respect a respectful nod to agriculture, symbolizing golden fields and ripened corn of ripened corn. The signature blue and gold FFA jacket was adopted as the organization's official dress all the way back in 1933, and it remains a tradition 85 years later. 
More than 50,000 FFA jackets are manufactured every single year. Hey, you have one of those. I do have two of those. You have two? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So today's Black History highlight is Johnny B. Dusty Baker Jr. Is this? No, it's not our last one. We still have more. I thought we were later into February. Um, Baker Jr., an American baseball manager and former outfielder who is the manager of the Houston Astros in Major League Baseball. He previously played in MLB for 19 seasons, most notably with the LA Dodgers. During his Dodgers tenure, he was a two-time All-Star, won two Silver Slugger Awards and a Gold Clove Award, and became the first NLCS... Gold, gold what? Gold Glove. What did I say? Clove? <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of information. A gold... And she doesn't know anything about baseball. That's offensive. Continue. Gold Glove Award, and became the first NLCS MVP. Which he received during the, you want me to talk like that? I said 1977 National League Championship Series. He also made three World Series appearances, winning one in 1981. He's Baker is the only black manager, I'm not done yet, in MLB history to win a pennant in both the American and National Leagues. He's also the only manager to ever guide five different franchises to division that titles. That is an esteemed man. Yes. He has a lot of How titles. And he's a great guy as well. That was a lot of information. Um, so Paula, what, the... all, what all do you know about baseball? There's four bases. Okay, you're done. <laughs> and we'll now... Oh, wait, no, you can have... Oh, I said can... that okay, you could okay. have the thought of We'll the now day. be moving on to the thought of the day. Sometimes the easiest way to solve a problem is to stop participating in the problem. Problem. Okay, uh, Ella, do you have anything to add? I think that this is a great one. And, you know, you could spend your time stressing and worrying about things that maybe even aren't your problem to begin with. And if you remove yourself from that situation, you'll find that you are much happier and you're creating Indeed. a lot less Indeed, thank you everybody for, for watching today's announcements. We hope you have a... Wonderful. That's lame. Um, Wacky. Whimsical. Have a whimsical Wednesday. Thank Go you, and as always, Go Pirates.